Hey fellow YouTubers, my name is Solomon and I'm just here to show you my uh, setup. I know it's a little dirty. It's my chair, my carpet, my computer, my 32 inch and my, my uh, 22 inch uh, monitors. That's also a TV. Uh, that's my desk. That's my keyboard. That's my mouse pad slash keyboard pad. That's my snack. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Can't sleep. No, I haven't been playing all day and night. No, I just slept all day actually. So I couldn't sleep. So I'm bored. I'm on vacation. Let me show you the guts of my system. Okay, first off, I know I'm plugged in because I'm, I'm recording from my cell phone. I don't have a DSLR. Yuck. Anyways, let's start off from, this is my, by the way, this is my second build, my water cooling system, my first water cooling system. I'm using 13 fans, and four of those are from, uh, what do you call this, four of those are from Prolimitech. I have a 140 millimeter uh, Prolimitech uh, fan, they're pretty good, I think they, they have a 87 CFM. Uh, 1000 um, RPM pretty nice and I believe it's like around 18 decibels and it's it's kind of it's kind of loud it's not my fans that, that it's not those that are loud I think it's the the Sigma Tech crystal uh, fans which is right behind it I'll show you later anyways first off and second off actually uh, I'm using a XSPC uh, pump uh, Pump and uh, pump res and combo thing, and this is where I uh, fill it up. I have a little spot right here, so I open this up and then just fill it up from there. I'm using uh, EK UV uh, blue uh, coolants. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I have also Sigma Tech over here. Bought it from eBay. It's one of those uh, fancy ones for thirty bucks. So I bought for like. 15 I don't know anyways these are the Sigma Tech uh, crystal ones uh, three of below or 140 I mean 120s and that's a um, hardware hardware labs I think hardware labs uh, oh no 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 I'm sorry black ice GT what am I talking about uh, black ice GTX uh, ra uh, radiator 120 one oh bleh, 240 radiator and I have uh, the Zygma Techs. And for tubing, I'm using a uh, Tigon E1000 plasticizer free. I'm using it because it's plasticizer free. Because plasticizers are known to be uh, a, uh, a source of uh, a problem blocking your CPU and GPU uh, uh, blocks. So, yeah. So I'm using these, but the only downside about this is they kink so easy. Look, it's so soft. Ugh, kink. Anyways, I'm using a, um, okay, let's start off with a radiator. I have a 420 millimeter, 60 mil thick radiator up top. I had to modify that. Uh, not the radiator, but the top so I can like... You know, I had to like dremel the uh, dremel the darn thing, uh, make some parallel cuts so I can like move back and forth the uh, the radiator. And I also that's an Alpha Cool uh, radiator, 420 60 mil thick, and that's a 140 60 mil thick also from uh, Alpha Alpha Cool. And you, I already told you that. Uh, yeah, so for for compression fittings, I'm using Bits Power, as you already know, and uh, yeah, I'm also using XSPC uh, uh, CPU blocks, the uh, the Raystorm, and I was actually thinking of uh, uh, painting this white, but I didn't have any time. I was in a hurry. I was in a rush. So screw it. I wasn't even planning to paint this because look at this, it's upside down. Uh, yeah, but whatever, it looks nice. 
it's tight. Not bad. So anyways, yeah, I'm using uh, Bits Power compression fittings. As you know, I'm using some 90 degree fittings. I actually, this is the weird one. Look, I fitted a 420 mil and then managed to put in a 120. <laughs> exactly, it's weird. I had to use like double uh, uh, 90 degree rotaries, dual rotaries, put it all together and so that I can make that weird loop and then going straight. So, wait a minute. So, let me just explain this to you. Show you the, uh, the guts behind it. So, that's the, uh, the res, I mean the res pump. Uh, you can probably see the dial. You can adjust it. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I'm using a Vertex 4. Uh, OCZ Vertex 4 uh, 256 right way right way behind there I had to uh, do some cuts right here too as you can see this actually normally has like a top thing but I had to uh, rivet that off and cut it from here see that and because I don't want it that fan to starve so that's why I had to get rid of it yeah um, so anyways going back to the the motherboard I have a ASRock Z77 um, Extreme 4. Got that. Got that from, um, and also a uh, 3570K. I got both of them. Um, the motherboard was $34.99. Normally they go for like $130 or something, $130 or to $145 or something. Got that for $84.99. And then the uh, the CPU, I got that for $189.99, which is so damn cool. 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 Yeah, I got that. Both for really a cheap price. Pretty nice. Didn't hesitate. Just grabbed it. Yippee. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have this uh, Cooler Master 1250 watt uh, power supply. It's pretty. It's a little noisy. Uh, that's because the as you could you could probably hear the fans blowing. It's really kind of. It's not loud. It's ma It's not bad. It's not too bad. But it's pretty cool. It's okay. Keeps it cool. Overclocked this baby to 4.4. Uh, the hottest I've seen was like somewhere around 42 Celsius. So I don't know what that is. It's like, yeah, 42 Celsius. Not bad. What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah. So my uh, the uh, I told you the tubing. I told you everything. Uh, but the size of the, the size of the uh, compression fittings. I uh, am using a uh, half uh, inner diameter of uh, half. Uh, inner diameter and uh, 5 8 outer diameter uh, compression fittings from Bits Power. I also have a, uh, you know, uh, a plumbing thing. So, plumbing thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, yeah, I, I got this this idea from, um, uh, what the heck is this guy's name? Uh, singular. Singularity. Singularity computer guy. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot, bro. Like, uh, most of your, you know, your videos are awesome. Like, gave me ideas of how to, like, you know, kind of, like, use your imagination and type of thing. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm missing another fan right here, so I'm going to buy the same fan and put it right there. So it's going to... That's why I had to raise that and put, like, a 25 millimeter... Uh, Extension, I believe. So I might replace that for a 30. Keep it straight, you know, it's a little bent, but it's not bad. So I'll put another fan right there. And also I'm using a uh, NZXT, uh, the, you know, the, the wire LED thingy. The two meters, two meters long. Pretty nice. So yeah, what am I missing? What am I missing? Yeah, I told you everything about it, and uh, the darn thing is really the is really cool. Um, it runs cool. The hottest I've ever seen it was 42 Celsius. Um, when I'm running, um, oh here, 
let me even show you. So here's my, uh, it's overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. That's the stock. As you can see, it goes back down and goes up, back goes back down. I, I stopped it and it's like, oof, nuts. So uh, I'm using, uh, oh yeah, the GTX 670. So I overclocked it to that, set it up like that. So that's the, and it's staying like that for quite a while. So it's 32 Celsius. Normally on a on a air cooled it'll be like that, but without even overclocking, it'll be on a 32. Now if you overclock it while it's air cooled, it goes up to like I believe it's like goes up to 42. So that is awesome. No problems at all. So yeah, so that's my setup. So I just like to show you. Here, let me uh, put this right back. This case. Uh. So yeah, this is how you load it with one hand. Uh. Okay, boom. That's how you load it with one hand. <laughs> All right, let's. Yeah. So it's pretty damn cool. I like it. And by the way, this build is dedicated to my grandfather, so I call it the Conrad Beast. I, I named it after my, my grandfather. God bless you. Love you, Grandpa. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about uh, all I can cover it. So thank you, and uh, please support and subscribe, like, good or bad comments. Make them anyway. Please do. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.